Hello guys, today we are going to take a look on that military device and from the title you should already know what this this is a Klansman army, British army VHF antenna, wide band VHF antenna and this is the matching impedance element as you can see it do not have any counterpoise and inside there is a matching circuitry we are going to open this up that element over here was stick into the mast and this was called an elevated VHF antenna I saw this on eBay sold also as a pineapple antenna I believe because of shape of this element so this looks like aluminium it's quite heavy we've got a connection over here that connection to be honest it's quite similar to a well-known BNC but the size is much more larger here we've got a place to secure the cap when it's not in use but it's already lost here we've got the model number I'm going to show you what's the model number maybe it will be better like that we've got also information that inside there is a beryllium on some components I'm not sure if there are any transistor inside here we should have a quite good access the bottom for the mast and the top to connect our radiating element can hover we've got our hot connector how looks the emitting element so they are in that canvas bag and they are about one meter long there are three of them inside I'm going to show you so this is the larger one I will try to I'm going to try to make a focus oh, inside we've got our hot wire that looks like some kind of component fiber grass that looks like fiber grass component for me and on the other side sorry it's very long inside we've got a copper connector and we stuck inside our two elements additional which looks like this one this is our last element is the thinnest that looks like pure copper to me looks like pure copper and we've got our middle element that looks like this also looks like pure copper so that looks like quite good we can sorry I do not have enough space but I will try connect them together just to show you just connecting them together and screw in that's how it looks like here we've got some kind of model I can show you that so yes that's how it looks like you can screw that element onto our base that's how it looks like 
we are going to make a measurement on that antenna and we are going to see what's going on but right now let's open and see what's inside okay so I remove all the screw and when we open we got information about the beryllium oxide just like I told you we got our rubber seal and that's what we can found inside we've got some inductance we've got a moisture absorbing element that is accessible from the outside and I believe this is our element that contain that beryllium so better not to smash it that's how it looks like not too much this is our input from the connector and that's all basically nothing fancy nothing special so let's see how it works I'm going to close it and we are going to see how does it perform on the antenna analyzer okay so I put all the screw back and we can make some measurements basically this should work from 30 to 70 something megahertz so in the VHF range but my measurement equipment is not capable of measuring that frequency but we are going to connect this anyway to see what kind of results results do we get so this is the original cable that was on that antenna we put it over here as you can see it's got that very large BNC like connector and from on the another end we've got a normal BNC so that's how the dimensions looks like and we are going to connect it so that part goes over here and locked on the other end we are going to connect a BNC cable just a regular BNC cable and we are going to connect to our impedance antenna analyzer ok so I've got a proper adapter and now we can try this I do not have any radiating element connected and we are going to see what kind of SWR do we have so that's how looks the SWR on the full sweep and as you can see we've got a very wide band response let's see if that change I'm going to set our cursor on some kind of frequency or maybe we are going over here so on 446 we've got 85 the resistance and I'm going to connect our element and we are going to see if that number change so let me try to connect this It's changed but very slightly. There was 86 ohm and right now we've got an 80 ohm and the VSWR on the 446 megahertz we've got a 17 which is 
Not bad. I connect a two hour transmitting elements, radiating elements because I think that's the closest match for a 2 meter which will be a 2 meter band so let's see how it works on the 2 meter band so we can check one I'm going to insert 140 or maybe more 135 megahertz oh that's the lowest possible okay so one 138 to I'm going to set 150 megahertz and this is our SWR I'm going to move cursor to 140 just give me a second I'm moving our cursor to 140 and on 140 we've got SWR16 this is our SWR here you can read the frequency and the SWR so everywhere when we are below 2 it's considered as a proper for radio we are going to out tune 1.5 on 150 megahertz Let's also check the UHF. The UHF we are going to stop on 450 megahertz or maybe 460 and we are going to start on 400 megahertz or maybe 420. Okay, so I'm going move our cursor on 440 megahertz we've got a SWR2 we've got our deep the lowest is on 448 megahertz you can read here SWR as I'm jumping okay so that's how it looks like so on 140 6 megahertz we've got SWR 175 so does it mean anything the answer is no it doesn't mean anything it means only that that if you are going to transmit on that frequency range the VHF and the UHF you're not going to burn your radio because of the reflected power but does it perform on that frequency range? I don't know. I do not have any idea. It might just get warm because if you use a resistor, 50 ohm resistor on the output of your radio, you will have an SWR about 1. So all the energy you output from your radio is going change to the heat. So does this antenna will transmit? I don't know. Maybe it just will get warm. Maybe it transmits very bad. Maybe it, it will transmit good. Who knows? So, like always, thank you for watching. Thank you for staying with me. And I hope someone will find that interesting. Maybe that would be a quite good uh, receiving antenna. We don't know. We are going to check it. So, thank you for watching and bye bye. See you next time.